My name is Captain Tanya Ray and I currently work for the General Officer Commanding Northern Ireland as his aide-de-camp. Um, I suppose you could liken it a bit to uh, a personal staff officer in terms of anything that he needs to see or he needs to deal with comes through comes through my desk first before it goes on to him making sure that all the information is collated and he's advised suitably so that he can make a decision uh, quickly and in a timely manner um, I, I'm also responsible in terms of all his official entertainment all his engagements uh, ensuring that he's in the right place at the right time dressed in the correct attire that can have catastrophic events if he's not um, and also I, I head up all his sort of personal staff team so from three from his PA three to his house sergeant three to his chef three to his cleaner I sort of head that bit up so basically making his life as easy as possible wherever possible um, um, as an aide de camp you tend to do a 12 month tour it's quite a busy tour um, and that's the reason why it is only 12 months the, the working day can vastly depend upon what's going on sometimes it's a case of you know an average day is probably about eight till seven um, but quite often you're traveling so you can be up from anywhere from four o'clock and then arrive back at two o'clock in the morning it just depends what the general's up to um, as you basically accompany him wherever he's going I've always been very privileged in terms of I've come from a background where sport has very much been part of everyday life whether it's been I don't know if walking a dog is is a sport but um, in terms of when we were little we were always down on the beach sailing with my father um, you know running around a sports pitch and then I went to a school and my year was extremely sporty um, and I represented I played in all the sort of the first team teams so hockey netball tennis basketball so I was I had my eyes open to a huge amount of sport from an early age and I suppose that's where it's come from it's always just been very much part of my life as I've got older uh, I would say I probably run and I probably do tr triathlon now because there are events that you can fit around your day whereas if you've got to make a hockey practice certainly my last job um, you can't always do that again even before I did this job when you go on tour and stuff like that it's not so easy to play hockey or, or netball um but no now now I probably would have to say that my love is 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 running and, and quite a few quite often people say to you that but that's quite an antisocial sport but the great thing about running is, is you can do it anywhere and you can do it with anyone it, it doesn't matter um and I suppose it's a bit like triathlon as well um you know there's three sports there the range of fitness you're going to get from each one is 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 fantastic and it also means you're not going to get knackered legs quite so quickly which is something that's one of the reasons why I've now turned to triathlon is just marathon running just it knackers your body hence the reason to be quite honest usually when my alarm clock goes off and it's time to go out for a run I'm there thinking oh no I must have another five minutes in my bed <laughs> but uh no then my strong mental determination takes over um and I find as soon as I've I literally, you just, well, at the moment, because a lot of it tends to be done in the morning, is you fall out of bed and you can barely find your trainers. Um, and then you put them on and you go out and you meet whoever you're going to run with. And all of a sudden, you know, you sort of, it just wakes you up. I always find that if I don't run or I don't swim in the morning, I have a slight hangover when I get into work, which is quite sad. But um, it, it's great to have had, you know, an hour or so of fresh air in the morning, particularly when you're going to spend all day. And there's a huge freedom about it. You know, there's so many lovely places you can get to on foot, which you can't get to in the car. And obviously by being able to run, it means you can get around them a little bit quicker. So uh, that's that's another good thing. Um, I I've, suppose I've, I've kind of touched on it already, but in terms of... There's so many other parts, particularly having been out in Northern Ireland, that I've been able to see that perhaps my peers who haven't taken the opportunity to go out and run, you know, they will have missed out on those. And, and there are, even in built-up areas like Lisbon, there are, there are some lovely parts that you can reach that you wouldn't go to otherwise. Uh, one of my particular loves is actually going down to the Moor Mountains, uh, sort of around to Tollymoor uh, National Park, I think it is. And, uh, you know, it's, it's absolutely fantastic. There's some fantastic hills. So if you want to stretch yourself, you can. Uh, you can really open your legs. But at the same time, if you just want to go and have, you know, a bit of quiet time to yourself, it's an ideal place that just as you're running around, you know, all the thoughts that are in your head, you can just sort them out and then they're, they're gone. Um, and it's, it's beautiful too. It's great. The second stage of doing doing triathlon is is biking and this can vary in distance anywhere from 22k up to 180k in the full Ironman itself um and the 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 longer the triathlon the more time obviously you clearly need to to spend in order to uh, to get the miles in your legs 
Um, so cycling is a great way, another great way of, of seeing the country, getting down those country lanes again that you can't really take a car down. Um, and, and the freedom is absolutely fantastic. I love going out on my bike. Um, it's always nice as well when someone can join you. Um, but, you know, as sad as it is to say, you can make a complete day of it if you want to stop for lunch in a pub. You know, it's, it's all about just seeing things. Otherwise, you wouldn't have had that experience. And, you know, you're combining the two together, you're training. Uh, but at the same time, you're also doing, you know, you're, you're seeing p- more of this this great this great country, which is uh, so underknown. It's probably one of the best kept secrets of, of uh, the United Kingdom. Uh, swimming is the first event that uh, you will th- that takes place in the triathlon, and, and it always starts with a swim. Um, I always tend to do my training for swimming in the morning. Again, it's a great one. You can get out of bed. Doesn't matter what you look like. Throw on your tracksuit. Go up to the pool. Uh, and no effort required whatsoever again swimming is one of those things a lot of people and I think it's quite a shame are are, are put off by triathlon because they all think I can't do the swim well a couple of years ago I probably couldn't have done more than 10 lengths continuously swimming but uh, um, over the last particularly last year or so you know you know it's not not a problem even doing sort of 5k and I think a lot of it is just discipline it's getting used to your body getting into rhythm getting into routine of breathing however many strokes you want to breathe Uh, and it's something that more people could do if they just sort of got over that fear of water last September I complete uh, I competed in my first half Ironman and to be honest it was probably my first real triathlon event um, down in the New Forest and that involved a 1900 meter swim a 90 kilometer bike ride followed by a 21 kilometer run which is basically half a marathon um and uh, it went pretty well and as a result uh i did quite well within my age group category and i got invited to go to greece uh to a place called savota for a week's triathlon training uh, in may sort of the pre-lead up to the to the main season the first day we went out on a run and i've had a lot of injury problems recently and i i turned and i said you know to one of my friends I said I'm not going to go flat out you know I'm just going to stick so I was at the front of the group and then I looked around and there was no one else with me apart from me and the coach um and 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 so basically um it sort of snowballed from there but at the end of the week we then did a a triathlon it was only a a sprint triathlon um and a a number of the girls had already secured places to go to the the, their age group as the world championships in Vancouver um and you know people were there saying oh we've got money on you you know that you'll do pretty well and to be honest I didn't really you know I thought I'd do okay but not that well um and then uh the competition my my swimming clearly w- seemed to be a little bit stronger than others and I came out of the water before uh before them and then I got on the bike and um again that continued to go quite well and then one of the girls had got in front of me on the bike and I think it's a mental thing when I got out, well, when I sort of uh, came back round and she saw me on her shoulder, I think she almost just gave up because she kind of thought, oh, she's going to beat me anyway. So, but no, it was fantastic. Um, there were two girls there that w- went to Vancouver to represent Great Britain in their age group categories. Uh, and then there was one girl who I didn't beat, but she has a full-time coach and, you know, has spent the, the season doing stuff. So from coming from having been on my bike uh, twice, I think it was this year, to having produced such a result I was really pleased and that's something that once I move on to my next pasting I hope to give a lot more time so that I can try and have it have a go and it's, it's always hugely rewarding in terms of when your talent is noticed and when people do think that you have a talent for something uh, and that was a good thing about going on the camp because now I am known and it's just a case of I now just need to produce the results which come down to me